Okay, today I'm going to go through monitoring an email inbox for attachments, taking those attachments, converting them to full text searchable PDFs, and then sending those documents to a folder. So I've already got the process set up. We're going to go ahead and step through it. So I'm in Auto Store Process Designer. I'll just double click on the capture component to bring up the uh, settings and configure the route from there. So very straightforward on the settings. I put in my server information, put in my username and password, uh, change my port number to whatever it needs to be uh, by the server, <coughs> check my uh, encryption to my SSL settings, and I'm pretty much good to go. So you notice I'm not doing anything with the body of the email at this point. You can actually save that out, save it separate, save the raw information off to another folder, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for this. So in the components, very straightforward. I'm just going to use our Abby Find Reader component to convert to full text searchable PDF. And then I'm going to use uh, send a folder to uh, send the documents off to, um, to, to, to a known folder. Let's go ahead and configure my, uh, my Find Reader. You see I have basically only turned on two options from the default. Turn on Activate, turn on Delete Original Image, because we're going to be taking the, the TIFF file attachment that I'm going to go ahead and send and converting that to a, uh, to a full text searchable PDF. So I won't need the original attachment anymore. On send a folder, very straightforward as well. I'm just going to configure a directory that I'm going to drop these documents into. In this case, it'll be called the POP3 directory. But I'm going to go ahead and rename the documents. And I'm going to, to do that, I'm going to use what are called runtime replacement tags, or RRTs. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the file name that uh, from the original attachment, and then I'm going to append to that the extension, which in this case will be PDF, because we're putting everything through the uh, PDF conversion. So RRTs are basically allow us to push uh, data around from component to component and off to the rest of the world so that we can map data directly into, in, into other systems. So to demonstrate that here, I'm going to actually grab some of the information from, our, uh, from the email as it comes in and map that directly to the properties of the PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the subject line, put that into the title. I'm going to grab the, uh, the from email address and put that as the author. I'm going to go ahead and use the subject as keywords as well. And then I'm going to take the, the to email address and, and drop that into comments. So we're all set up at this point. All I have to do is go ahead and start the process and send an email and watch it come through. Okay, so I have my email ready to go. All I need to do at this point is attach an image to it. So I'll go ahead and grab my document. Remember the subject line is going to be mapped into the title. And then I'm also going to capture the from and to email addresses as well. So I'll go ahead and send this off. And I've also started the auto store status monitor here. And we're going to see documents come across from there. And then we'll look at the, uh, the target directory as well. And we'll see documents actually ultimately end up in there as well. Our PDF file should end up there. OK, and you can see here that the document has been uh, grabbed and it's ready to be OCR'd. So the status monitor allows us to actually see the document going through the system um, as, it's, uh, as it hits the different processes. It helps us troubleshoot when we have issues. So you can see the document just finished there and showed up on our POP3 um, directory here. So as I hover over the, e uh, the, the file, you can actually see that uh, the properties for the file here. So if I go ahead and right click on it, I can also bring up the properties so we can look at those directly. If I look on the summary tab, you can see here's our information that we put across: invoice for account number one two three four five, the from address as as uh, my my original email address. Again, the keywords it was the subject line and my two email address. So that's it. We've set up a process and monitored an, an email inbox through POP3, and we're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.